G'day guys, got an RS lockout lock here. Um, I really like the 410s and so they got me into the lockout locks. This one's just borrowed from work and I'm kind of just using this video to test out the camera on my new phone, but we shall see. Um, I've picked it a few times before just to play around with it, but we can pretend like I'm picking it out of packet if you want to think I'm better than I really am. So let's have a crack. I have noticed it's actually really easy to overset the pins in this lock. Um, it's, it, it behaves as though there's no spools. It's just like standards and small serrated and the, um, and the, the core is spring, can you say that spring tensioned? So it's not like the lot, the, um, four tens in the sense that they just have a dead core. This one is spring tensioned. It actually behaves a little bit more like an 1100. It's really easy to overset. It's got like small serrated pins, although I can't open it up and actually verify that. So it's just going off feel. Oh, get messages while we're going, but that's all right. One, two, and three feels set. I'm guessing there's something in the back I'm missing. Um, maybe that, and there we go. So that's the open, just missing that, that last little serrated. Um, the one thing that is really disappointing with this lock is that it seems as though, I don't know if you can see in there, um, but it can be shimmed. So my understanding of a lockout lock is that it should be easy to, to smash and take off but it shouldn't be easy to remove without any evidence that it's been removed, if that makes sense. So for it to be shimmables are a big letdown, but yeah, fun little lock to pick and I'm assuming relatively cheap. Uh, like I said, I borrowed this one from work, so I don't actually know what they're worth, but thanks guys and have a good one.